Okay, it's peeps in the waiting room whenever y'all are ready. You ready? I'm not ready. You ready? <laughs> Almost. Am I ever ready? Take us time. I mean, you know, it'd be, it'd be in a moment. You'd be ready. Put some vibes on for you. I didn't want to get my little crystal. Just text me if I should ever lower the music. Oh. Or, or you could say it also. Is it okay, Simone? Yeah, that sounds good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for being here. You can be anywhere, but you're here. Come on, everybody following. We're going to utilize the chat a little bit today. So um, at the end, we do, you know, more of a quick open mic style. But at the top, you know, Hop in the chat, let us know who you are, where you at, because we're virtual, so we can be anywhere where you at, and um, let us know your sign. Y'all can, y'all can tap in and say what's up. <laughs> y'all can say what's up. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We got a few people tapping in this night, so we get started. Five to ten minutes. Thank you for tapping into the chat. Feel that and you a Taurus, okay? We ain't your moon. Probably. Houston love. Shout out to Houston. Houston is an exciting city right now. Love y'all. You y'all been so good. So good. Oh, good, good. I mean, since April, a lot of y'all been in the pieces of for. Minute. One minute, man. We almost on a year. Yeah. We almost on a whole year. Mm-hmm. It's been dope. It's been such a cool way to build community. Um, to, you know, build our healers and dealers. Um, we want y'all to be here to be able to exchange information, exchange knowledge, energy. And so if you are a healer and dealer, you give offering your any type of healing, whatever it may be. If you teach yoga, you are a reader. So mushrooms, I don't know. If you're a writer, if you're an MC, whatever it is that you might do, if you're a healing dealer, let us know who you are throughout the night, you know. Letting people file in, file in. It's a little dark on this side. Usually we lit up, but it feel good. A little mellow vibe. Get comfortable. Get your blanket. Get your pillow. Get your journal. Light the incense. Whatever you might need. Tonight's stone is gonna be lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. We got our. We're in Scorpio season. Taurus moon. No, I'm not astrology or something like that, but definitely felt the need for grounding, clear communication, and my self talk. Communication is not always about everybody else. 
with the Hindu too. So I'm gonna read a little bit about it and then we'll get started, okay? All right, so Lapis Lazuli opens the third eye <laughs> and balances the throat chakra. It stimulates enlightenment and enhances dream work and psychic abilities facilitating spiritual journeying and stimulating personal and spiritual power. This stone quickly releases stress, bringing deep peace. It possesses enormous serenity and is the key to spiritual attainment. Really, you're the key to spiritual attainment, you and God, like you know what I'm saying? The lapis we connected to. It's a protective stone. Um, it recognizes psychic attacks, it blocks it. It harmonizes the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels. It encourages taking charge of life. It reveals inner truth and self-awareness. Amongst many, many, many other things. So if you have a lapis, if you happen to have a lapis, go ahead and grab one. If you have any other crystals on you, grab those as well. Of course, with Fresh Eyes Monk, we all about the gems. We do jewelry, we sell stones, but we also offer spaces like these. So y'all know y'all can cop from me. But if you have any stones with you, you got a clear quartz, you got a rose quartz, whatever you feel like you need, go ahead and add them to the other things. You all ready? I'm ready. I think we got everybody in here. Y'all tap, tapped into the chat a little bit. Y'all ready? Hey, Jerry. <laughs> we got Sloan in here. What up, Sloan? All right. If y'all are ready, go ahead and drop a blue heart. Drop a blue heart. It's that. All right, we got three. Come on, get some more food in the chat. Y'all need a moment, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got five, we got five. Hey, okay, we got okay. Five. We got seven. Mm. Ooh. Then we got seven. Ooh, here we go. Oh, we got the, uh, we got the, we got the, ah, you did it. Yeah, get comfortable, everybody. All the time you need me, just remember you at the right place at the right time. And then you don't got nothing else to do right now. So just be present with yourself and be present with each other in the collective. So if you want to lay down, lay down. I personally, personally suggest you turn your mic off, turn your camera off, just get real comfortable. Get real calm in your space. This is time with you and the most high. So do whatever you need to do. And I want you to just get in touch with your senses. Take a deep breath in. Take in what you smell around you. Take in what this, what the energy feels like in this present moment. Breathe into your body. Maybe this is the deepest breath you've taken all day. How do you feel in this moment? Maybe you want to process how today was for you. Maybe you want to process how the day 
ended up being for you. And just observing everything right here and right now. We can let go of all the worry and concerns and stress of the day. As we inhale, Maybe we hold it for an extra two seconds at the top. And we let it go slowly. A slow exhale, letting it all out. Allowing ease to come over our body. Allowing right now and right here to take over our mind. I'll put a card for us to sit with as we go into our meditation. And the card is, I am enough. And as you're breathing and as you're sitting with yourself, I really want you to imagine this energy. I really want you to sit with this energy of being enough and talking to yourself and saying, I am enough. I am beautiful just as I am. I am loved just as I am. I am worthy just by being me. I don't need to fit in. I just need to be myself and the right people will come into my life. Those who see and appreciate me for all that I am, I am enough. So as we're going into this meditation, as we're going into this full moon, you know, the energy of Taurus is very hustle and bustle, it's very move, it's very get things done. And that allows, and that causes us sometimes mentally to have battles with being enough and doing enough and living up to our own standards. And sometimes those feelings can get messy within our body, within our minds. Sometimes we can get in our minds about being enough and doing enough. And it's okay to feel like that in this present moment. We are collectively safe in this moment. We're gonna focus on clearing our energy. We're gonna focus on protecting the things that matter to our hearts the things that we want to accomplish, our goals, our dreams, the things that deserve our attention, the things that we have been assigned to take care of and put on our table. And under this full moon energy, we're going to really sit with the energy of clearing our tables. We're letting go of the things and the clutter and the mess that we have made. It is time to get organized. It is time to get clear. It is time to be in alignment and in balance with our manifestations and our goals moving forward. I want you to take a deep breath in. Get comfortable. Allow your thoughts to come freely with no judgment. And I want you to imagine a table in front of you. This is your table. You can make it as big as you want, as wide as you want, whatever color. And 
And let's breathe and feel what this table feels like to our vessel, to our body, to our spirit in this moment. Maybe your table is made out of gold. Maybe your table is made out of metal. You create your reality. As you breathe, I want you to soften your shoulders. Get a real comfortable seat in the center of this table. Get a really comfortable chair. And get real nice and cozy at your table. And I want you to take a look at this table from a higher perspective, from an overview perspective. Deep breath in. And it's okay if everything feels overwhelming. It's okay if things look chaotic. It's okay if things may not be as organized as you would like for them to be. We're just observing in this moment. We're just releasing, we're just being present with what is in front of us. It's just you. You are in control of what is in front of you. Deep breath in. Maybe you see things on your table or you feel things that no longer, you no longer need to, to hold on to. It's taking up too much space. And you can observe it. You can observe those things that are causing clutter. Maybe it's a little bit of other people's thing. Maybe it's a little bit of other people's papers, needs. There's a mixture of ours. Maybe there's a little bit of work. There's a little bit of entrepreneurship. There's a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of everybody on this table. But we are going to decide collectively that under this full moon, that it's time to do a little decluttering. As you breathe in, observe, take stock, take note of what you see of what it feels like on your table. Maybe your table is clean. Maybe your table is clear. Let's add a little sage. Let's add a little something to spark it and make it feel safe. And maybe the table needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And it's okay if we can only get one thing off. It's okay if we can only do a little bit. The goal is to do our best. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, I want you to remind yourself, I am enough. 
I am enough. <clears throat> I am not responsible for everybody's stuff. I am enough. It may become overwhelming being present with this table. It may be overwhelming in this moment. You can always just find your way back to your breathing. Deep inhale. Breathe down into your feet, into the ground. You can release it. Clear the table as we make some space. Release. Send some ashe to those things that no longer serve us. Now let's start to observe what we want to add to our table. Maybe we need a little more discipline. Maybe we need to be a little more focused on our goals, on our manifestations, get a little more detailed about what those things look like. As you release, remind yourself, I am enough. As we carry this with us in our practice. As we find our way back to our medicine. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Maybe we observe some things on our table that need our attention. Some things that we've been neglecting, some things that we have been covering up. As you inhale, breathe new life into your table, Bring new, breathe new life into your businesses, into your ideas, into your manifestations. As you observe them from a higher perspective, you realize that it's easier than you perceive. You realize that it doesn't have to take up so much room on your table. Deep breath in. If your thoughts start to come back, it's okay. Just observe. Just find your way back here. Just find your way back to this moment.
Maybe we observe what is now on our table. Maybe it's a little cleaner than we once when we first started. Maybe there's a few more things that we need to get in order. And when you're done with this meditation in real life, I really want you to journal what you saw on your table from your perspective. What that felt like to see your, your visions and your goals and your ideas on a table in front of you. A table that you created, a table that only you can sit at and give permission to sit at. This is your safe space. You decide what you want to keep. You decide what you want to give your energy to. How do you feel sitting at this table? What is required for us to move forward? Do we need better money management skills? Do we need a better relationship with our money? Do we need a better relationship with ourselves? As you breathe in and observe your table, I want you to give great gratitude to what you see, give gratitude to how far you've come. I know it has been difficult. I know times have been hard. But look at the life you've created. Look at how far you've come. You deserve this life. You deserve a life of ease. You deserve a life of joy. You deserve to ask yourself, what's the best that can happen? As you sit with all that you have, all that you've created under this full moon energy. We can send ourselves some ashe for making it this far. We're doing our best with what we got, with what, with what we have. We can let go of the pressure and the expectations we've placed on ourselves. We can let go. Of the stories we've held on to. Though they are valid, they are no longer who you are. Breathe in how you want to feel. I know some moments feel hard. I know some moments feel heavy. But right now, right here, we can lay it down even for a little bit.
as you're in the present moment, what does it feel like right now where you are? Observe how the temperature may feel. Observe if you feel warm or if you feel a little cooler. Maybe observe what it smells like around you. Maybe you want to take in what you hear. Go deeper past my voice. Just leave it in this moment. Maybe you observe what you smell. Remind yourself that I am enough. If we decide to always just try to remember that all we have is right now. And that we create our reality. As you release and call in doing during this full moon. I really just want to reiterate the fact that you are deserving of all your blessings. You are deserving of having peace and being able to be still and present with yourself. <clears throat> you are deserving you can be rewarded without the fear of something negative coming. You can be rewarded. And all you have to do is accept the reward. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. <clears throat> As you 
as you bring yourself back to this present moment. As you observe <clears throat> what is going on around you. You can always find your way back to your table. You can always take care of your table as often as you need to. Upkeep of your goals and your dreams is necessary. <clears throat> Maybe you start to buy things that will help you be more organized. Maybe just making more simple and mindful choices every day. But just remember to give yourself grace. Breathe in, when you exhale, release all there was. <clears throat> As you prepare to continue on your journey outside of this space, just know that you are loved and that you are enough. And that we all are in this together. As we have one more deep breath and close out, I want you to tell yourself these four phrases, we've carried this with us for a while in our practice as we've joined. And I want you to say, I love you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Thank you. You can always tell yourself these things. Give yourself the closure that you deserve. I love you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Thank you. As we end, I want you to say your final ashes to yourself to your goals, to your dreams, to your table, to your ancestors, to whoever or whatever will listen. You can find your way here at any moment. You can lay it all here at any moment. As you come out, of your meditation, maybe you want to move your head a little bit. Maybe you want to stretch your arms. Maybe you want to do a slow rotation of your head. Really slow, taking your time. There is no rush. There is nowhere you have to be right now. As you find your way back, maybe you find your way to your journal and you journal what you, what you see or what you feel in this moment. Maybe you just wanna be present Take whatever time you need. <clears throat> if 
you want to, you can turn your cameras on when you feel ready. Okay, now just take your time. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. That felt good. Mm -hmm. Probably the table metaphor. <laughs> the table metaphor is kind of crazy. <laughs> the table. I want to keep my table clean. Queen is clean. Sometimes I should be kind of You know, mine was cluttered for sure. For sure. I'm stacked. I be having to clean mine every day. Stacked. Stacked. <laughs> but then you think about the real table. My table's really be cluttered, like my actual, you know what I mean? So that's like a meditation in itself, you know? It's like cleaning your table, cleaning your altar. True. Like real ways of practicing. True, true, yeah. Mm. Sure. Man, I hope y'all feeling great. Y'all definitely can tap in on the mic. If you don't want to tap in on the mic, it's cool. You can tap in chat. Just let us know how you're feeling. And gratitude again for everybody being here. We appreciate y'all. I appreciate this space just to, you know. Sometimes we do get away from ourselves. So thank y'all for sharing this moment. Thank you, Sloan. Yeah, yeah. We don't have anybody. Some of y'all might just be, you know, coming out the meditation. But if you want to hop on the mic, let us know how you're feeling. Or, you know, say your peace. Drop a gym. Space is open. Another one. Another one. Another one. So there was a it wasn't right exercise, right? Yeah. Okay. Um journal how your table, what you saw on your table. What you saw on your table, what you want to be more attentive to on your table, you know, whatever comes up about your table, you know, from your perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe with some feelings that came up that you need to be, you know, oh, maybe I need to tap in with this, mm -hmm. or I haven't really been paying attention to this. You know, just being more mindful of your table, keeping your table clean, because, mm -hmm. you know, it's the thing that you, you know, what's, what's, it's, it's everything that you own. It's everything that you want to create for yourself. So you got to be mindful of how you are keeping it and taking care of it. We coming to an end of the season soon, too, so it's a big it's nice to have those things. Yeah. You know. Finish out the year strong. I always carry things into other seasons. Yeah, I probably did it. <laughs> so like stay in the table. Stay in the table. Table is definitely going to be a focal point starting today. Word, right? I Thank you. I should. Um, Talisha said. Talisha or Talisha, I don't know, I'm sorry. Feeling like my table is in a space where it's supposed to be now. Okay. I had a couple tables. I had a big table. A big table. I had a big old table. table we could fit, you know. That's a whole lot of things. I, this really need to be organized. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have multiple people. Mm -hmm. You bang niggas at your table. Shh. Man, you want at the table. Mm, who you want at your table? Who you want at your table? Mm. Ooh, See, I'm going to tell you first to be like, hold on. What you say? Go ahead, hop in. What up? How y'all feeling? I'm good. Oh, yeah. We feel good. Um, I just wanted to to say this. Um, I feel like this time right now is like very much a time of revelation for a lot of things in our life. 
specifically mine, but um, I just wanted to say thank you for the whole um, I am enough feel because I feel like it was necessary um, this time. It's, it's definitely that go get a season right now. So um, that pressure being heavy as far as uh, just feeling like, you know, pulled in a bunch of different directions and and trying to to be enough in, in each direction that you're getting pulled. So um, that was a great reminder to just, you know, stay grounded in this present moment. That was something I was journaling about as well. Just staying in the present moment, being grounded during this season because it's definitely going to be tough tough to get through um, if you don't believe that you are enough. So thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, let's see. I just ended what we consider a toxic relationship. I'm learning to pour back into myself. I say trying to heal, keep myself in a positive mindset and space to let me tell y'all since I had since I left the kid being free I hear that (laughs) I hear that and yeah tap in y'all tap in with us Um, we'll keep the keep the mic on for another couple minutes um, again, if you're a healer and dealer, tap in with us. Drop your, your info in the chat. Let us know what you do, what you offer. You know, somebody might need to tap in with you. So you can do that. Um, man, I'm still stuck on that, you know, you more than enough. That hit me today, too. It was perfect for me today. Mm-hmm. For me, is I am worthy. I've been dealing with a lot of self-worth after my mm-hmm. you know, relationship and whatnot. And I've been trying to remind myself that I am worthy. And so to hear that and to hear that mantra and hear that I am enough just confirm that I'm on the right path. Mm-hmm. So thank you all for Yes. Hey. I Thank you for tapping in with us. Let me hear y'all voices. What, what ace is this? I be wondering exact, trying to figure out exactly who you are sometimes. In the some people in the um, yeah, yeah, like it'd be you like meeting people, you be like, who are? I mean, do I know you? What name are you going by? Right. I know a couple aces. All right, y'all. Man, any last words? Let's see. You know, clever nice, fresh ass monk, rock with me. We got gems in the shop, lapis lazuli. We got 30% off this week. Just for y'all. Just for y'all. Any piece that's lapis lazuli, I think we got, you know, mini monk rings, some chokers, some chains. Um, you know, tap into the website. We just dropped the we just dropped the the code in the um in the chat. I also think it came with y'all email. If it didn't just hit me up. Um, but yeah, you know, cop some gems. If y'all want to DM me, I also do custom work. So if y'all want to talk about crystals, if y'all want to like see what's needed, what will be a good prescription, you know, tap in with me. DM me. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. Um, and then we got third hour over here. Yeah, we're doing big things. Oh, yeah, big things. Big things. <laughs> um, if you want to book with me, you know, my bookings are, are are open. My schedule is real wild right now. So if you love me, just just rock with me. Um, I'll be trying my best. My sis got me a nice little calendar. I'm on it. I am and getting organized, y'all. I promise. I'll be preaching to y'all, but I'll really be trying myself. Um, so yeah. But book with me, I'm doing one-on-one. Also, you know, I'll be at our little red one shop out here. So if you ever had a reading or you want to read it or you just want to hang out, I'm down with that too. Um, I'll probably be popping up doing some poetry somewhere near you. 
in Houston. So keep your eyes out for that. And yeah, um, I love y'all. Thank y'all for allowing me to show up every month mm-hmm. and be in this space and push myself to to do my best. Hey, bro. And yeah. You're making this shit go up. <laughs> Shoot. I appreciate you so much. Aww, thank thank you. you for taking over for the time that I couldn't be here, you know? And that's what community do, y'all. Yeah, sure. That's what sisterhood do. For real. You know? Get you another you. <laughs> for real. Know what you trust. Um, man. Blessings, y'all. Happy full moon. I think the pool is going to be full moon tonight and tomorrow. A little bit of the next day. So utilize this time uh, to release. Release, release, release. Um... Things are highly illuminated right now. So utilize that time. Sometimes I know I'm personally, the reason, you know, why I have these meditations to begin with is because like I can be so busy minded and so in so many worlds at one time. So it's just good to be on a cycle with ourselves just to remember like, yo, let me, let me actually have a conversation with myself, conversation with God. Let me create a space that loves me, that I love, you know, and So to be all in this space together, we're forever grateful. We're going to be back next month. Usually it's it's always going to be on a Monday, the moon day. You know, we're going to stay consistent with that, Um, but always around the full moon. So just stay tapped if you need it. If you want to bring somebody, you know what I'm saying? Let them know the RSVP. Hey, y'all, that's about it. Stay fresh, y'all. Love (laughs) y'all. Peace, peace, peace. See See y'all soon. Somebody said, Hart said she appreciated the jazz section. Right. (laughs) That's been carrying me through life lately, bro. I've literally been playing jazz all day, every day. Just like, no words. It it feels good. It's like, it keeps you you warm. It keeps you. It's really the season. It's cozy. I don't get cozy all the time. Yeah. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all. Take care Peace of yourselves. Y'all. Love y'all. Hey. Just us. Hey. hey. We did it. That was great. Aw. Uh, hey, hey, Heavy. Hey, Heavy. Hey, hey. Did y'all meditate? Was, y'all was meditating no. or y'all was talking? <laughs> he was on the meeting. I mean, I I came back up by him a, a little bit after, but he was on the meeting. Oh, mm. thanks, thanks. Oh, and I was, ha- I had half and half. I literally had, was half and a half. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen, I'm actually gonna listen back to it though, because it sounded good. I'll, I'll probably do it either tonight or tomorrow. Oh, let me see your nails. Oh, they're old. These are so old. Oh, I haven't seen I'm them. Liter- I'm literally getting them done uh, off tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That sounded good. I feel like I, I, it was cool that everybody was so responsive this, this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the chat. I'm blessed. Yeah. That was fun. Today was a good one. Nice. Yeah, oh, I, I had a vision. Long. I had a vision of the in-person ones. You had them? Yeah. Uh, while, we, while we were sitting here, so I, had a, yeah, I had a vision. I we just like, need the space. I actually know the exact space. Yeah. Okay. When you get as it, long man. as Brock is like with the shits, we can do it. We can probably do it at his studio because I got a. Oh, job. the one I've seen. The do you see that big room? studio? Yeah. Yeah. Good with yeah. it. Yeah. Be fine. Okay, I'm down. I feel like in person is the next level. I feel like yeah. we gotta do them in person. Yeah, I feel like I wish there was like I wish you had a twin, Simone. Right. <laughs> so that like we could do we could do Chicago ones and y'all could do Houston ones. Right. But you know what? That that could be a level of expansion. We we'll just be back and forth. Right. No, I'm getting you a clone. Right. Oh, you right. <laughs> no, but like you know, having a healer and dealer in Chicago to right. conduct. Yeah, I wonder who would be if like we know anybody because I would be down to like I would be down to hold it hold it down on behalf of like you. I know, I know like, who I would want to do it. Who? I would want John Jones to do it. That I would like. I, I think man, that would be. That, cool. No, I was just gonna say that would be raw. That would be mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. I would have to like he would probably have to sit in on some and we like you know. But I think John would be a great um, meditation, like whole whole good meditations. It would be like 
passionate you know mm, that's a, that's a i good. forgot i i keep i always forget about that money was holding but money was oh money would be good was too. he money would be good he would be good out yeah was he money's good was he moderating them? he he's done one before hasn't he yeah I don't know. I don't. I don't know what he was doing them at the lake. If he was host, if he was like moderating them, or if he was just bringing people together and somebody else was doing it. I think it was a little bit of both. Of but yeah. But yeah. Okay. I'll sleep. Twenty twenty two goal. Right. Twenty twenty three goal. Yeah. That'd be hard. If you want to hold a fresh ass monk meditation in your city. Bye. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Should we hop on Zoom calls and do them right. one on like Zoom, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no key. We really could do that. We really could just have everybody gather and then like, like if we weren't ready to be at a point where like y'all were or like we had somebody else hosting, y'all could really just hop on the Zoom and host. Right. Whole time. You know, that's something to think about. Yeah, so I different. wouldn't mind a little fresh ass monk meditation tour. We pop up in LA, Lord. pop up in a different city, and just do meditations. That'd be hard. At Raw Space. Be okay. All right. A little sprinkle. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see. End of the year conversation. Okay. Well, I love you. Oh, wait, let me stop recording. Um, yo, so how can we get better?